So, we've been in Norway for the past four days. Getting to know some of the long-termers and what they see taking place here in the nation of Norway. And what if I told you that two countries in two very different geographical locations in the world actually have a lot more in common than one would expect? Take a look at these photos. This is a guy named Hans Nielsen Hauge. And these here, these are the circuit riders. You see, 200 years ago in the 1800s, something took place in both of these nations, and it's happening once again. So the story begins here, in a small district in Norway called Østfold, in this little town, Rolfsø. This is where Hans Nielsen Hauge was born and spent most of his childhood until he had this super wild experience in a field where God met him in that place. And wherever he went, the gospel just exploded. And then he was also very skilled in different like handcrafts, how to make salt. He could do other, like he had a business mind, so he helped people start businesses. So the economy started growing and basically a revival broke out over big parts of the nations. Now what's fascinating is that at the exact same time a very similar type of movement was being birthed in America. It's a movement that today has become known as the Circuit Riders. It started out of the Methodist Church where preachers would ride on horseback all around the country. They've become well known for revival and their willingness to ride through any winter storm and overcome any trial to get to the next town in their circuit to speak. So after talking a bit more, we learned that this movement is happening again in both of these countries in the form of the circuit riders. I have an encounter with the Lord where he sent a messenger and he said, I represent those that are about to ride through the night to declare a message of a revolution that will lead to revival and reformation. And then the messenger spoke again. He said, the Lord is about to release his circuit riders across America again. And all of a sudden, it's these wild-eyed revivalists, was the phrase. And they had fire in their eyes, and they're just consumed, and they're crisscrossing America into the nations of the earth. Basically, Amy Ward had a similar encounter about Norway being a circuit rider nation. And this is what we're dreaming about. We're dreaming about a generation that are willing to say yes to Jesus' call, to share the gospel, to believe for the miracles, to believe that the high schools and the universities can be changed. And we're dreaming about a whole generation. Hundreds of people being trained, thousands of people being sent, and thousands of people being saved. Which leads us to what is taking place today, in our time. This last trip I felt like God said uh, He wanted to give 20, have, have us find 20 people that would kind of be circuit riders to go around the nation and call young people to missions. Then their outreach team has 20 people on it and they're basically doing the circuit rider word. You see here, these are the modern day circuit riders. Where are we going tonight? Christian soon. Yes, they may not look the same, but their vision and their goal remains. Riding circuits all around America and Norway where nothing stops them and nothing holds them back. They are simple and sacrificial men and women with a message, compelled by love and recognizing the power of the simple gospel to save, awaken, and catalyze a generation for Jesus. So she felt peace, and then she was just like, I surrender my life to Jesus. Come like, on. It's so awesome. And it doesn't end here. The revivals that started in the late 1700s began and ended in their respective countries. However, now in our time, 200 years later, it's spreading. The revivals are leaving the borders of their own countries into the nations of the world. What used to be national movements of God have now become global. So there's so much happening all around. In Norway, they've been circuit riding for the past two and a half years. In America, even longer than that. And if you guys want to get involved, this summer there's a school called 21 Project happening both in Norway and in America. It's a three-week program where you get trained and equipped to find out who you are, but also how to reach your high schools and the universities. And if you feel called even longer than that, there's something called CR Experience, which I'll link down below. 
and there's also YOMD TSs happening all around the world. So if you guys want to get even more involved, I'm going to link all those resources down below. And next week, we're going to go to the Arab Gulf to see how missions sparked in that region of the world and what is currently taking place. It's a fascinating story, so I hope you guys will tune in next Thursday for the next release.